Okay, so we're here talking about Scandal 2013. The return of Scandal 2013 and Miss Olivia Pope. Olivia. Okay, so the first scene was crazy. We saw how uh, Papa Pope demolished Miss Olivia. Murdered him. First scene. (laughs) First 15 (laughs) seconds. Okay, now first of all, when he said you lifted your skirt and opened your knees. I said, what? Dead. I was done. And she was done. (laughs) Olivia said... My thing is, I wouldn't be all right with anybody talking to me like that. But if my father said that to me, I wouldn't even know what to say. I would be like, nigga, <laughs> what you Ooh, talking to? You. Like, you crazy right now. But anyway, that the first scene was great. I mean, the fact that Olivia didn't disappear, but we knew she wasn't going to disappear. We saw I, evil Bill Cosby. <laughs> Papa Pope is the evil Bill, Cos- <laughs> Bill Cosby's evil twin. But It'd we knew, crazy. of course, you know, she wasn't going to disappear. So that whole thing about her getting on a plane was kind of like... Then the season will be over. At the first I mean, it was episode. unnecessary. I mean, no, but I did think that the scene, that scene was unnecessary. Her sitting on the plane as if she was trying to figure out what she was going to do. We knew she wasn't. They needed do to it. waste five minutes. I guess in a commercial break. But I mean, it was it was a pretty. The scene with her and him, the dynamic between them was great. I thought that was interesting. It, it made me think about what is he really getting into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously. This? But when he said you could have aimed higher. He said, why do you love to be so mediocre? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, that was, he stuck her. And I was like, wow. Because the thing is, why didn't she aim higher? That's a good question. I mean, she, the president, I mean, was higher than that. No, fool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but really, it was good, you know what I'm saying? Then it was, what, 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 what was the other thing? Let's talk about, oh, Millie. Millie, um. Millie you know, is messy, and Millie is. <laughs> She's I try weak. I try to like Millie. I thought I liked Millie before, but when she started running her yap and not playing her role. She's being a brat. And because the thing is this, if you was upset about him cheating, you should have been upset about it from the get-go. If get you go. was upset about him cheating, you should have, instead of asking the security guard all these questions, just had an affair with the security guard. What? <laughs> Listen, the thing is... If she was upset about it, she should have left. She should have dipped or she should have made a stink about it before. But what she did was she got on that bus, she stayed on that bus, and she rode that bus. And she played her part. She made it seem like, okay, yeah, and I'm with it. And then got mad because she didn't get a transfer. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I mean, if that's the way you want to think about it. The thing is, Olivia Pope was like, we going to do this. And she was doing it. Then all of a sudden, you want to get mad because she couldn't get fits to do what she wanted him to do. You know, so then she went and ran her mouth like an idiot. Like, I mean, that's just ridiculous. First of all, I mean, for the average chick, yeah. Yeah, leave You know, him. leave him do whatever. Yeah. But she's not the average chick. She's married to the president of the United States of America. First lady. So shut your mouth and play your role. And what know you your role. You know what I'm saying? What like you the doing? rock said. Get, I mean, it was just ridiculous. And then when they met in the bunker and then she called herself talking about... You whore. Calling Olivia a whore, first of all. Okay. Olivia is a whore, though. No. Olivia <laughs> is an opportunist. Olivia. No, Olivia is a sucker for love. Olivia is a whore. Let's be real about it. Olivia has some problems. She got daddy issues. Look who her father is. And he called her a whore. Listen. When he mentioned them legs, them knees, and that skirt. But she wears very nice skirts. <laughs> <laughs> but it was crazy when Cyrus was like, get a kill fold on Olivia. What? That was a whole snap. Like, no beanie. <laughs> no beans. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> Keep it cool, beans. Now it was crazy because it was like, dang. But he and he just said, oh, no, I'm not going to do that, Olivia. Yeah, and yeah. I, we going to be all this other crap, all that nonsense he was talking about. So her father was right. But the bottom line is Columbus Short. Harrison. Mr. Harrison. Okay. He wasn't playing. He, he was play- a gang member. And he played his role. Gladiator. Gang member. Kept to his role. Millie needs to take notes from Harrison. No matter what, play your role. Play your role. Know your part. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, maybe she, uh, you know, the thing is, she don't know her part. But she felt it when Fitz told her. Well, no, because she don't want her, but she want her part to be humanitarian, leader of the pack, lone wolf, uh, he who dances with wolves, you know? No, I think Millie wants to be the president of the United yeah, States of exactly. America. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Lone wolf. He who dances with wolves. But you saw Shark how, Tank. You you saw how she was how she was uh, hurt when yeah. Fitz stuck it to her. First of all, what we the big question was: Wait a minute, who leaked Olivia's name? 
I'm trying to remember from the last, the finale yes. from last year. Yes. <laughs> We thinking, we thinking that we thinking that we knew from last year. Sitting there talking about, wait a minute, did they ever tell us this? Who was it? Come and to find out. Millie told us that it was Fitz. Millie told us, but you know what? And that's what I think. We need to pay attention to that. What Millie told us. What Fitz told Fitz Millie. Ain't worry about nothing. <laughs> <For> <laughs> ain't worry about that. But we need to pay attention to what Millie told us. What Fitz told Millie. Millie. When he said, when I laid in your lap. And pretended to care about your forgiveness. So what is that telling us? That Fitz. Is a gang member as well. Is a mother effer. And that he been playing this game. Scheming. He stays scheming. He been playing this game for some time now. And that folder that Mr. Cyrus got from Papa Pope. Pop, 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 Pope. Is going to tell us some other stuff about Fitz. Well, we already know that Fitz murdered that old cancer ridden. What, what did woman. that dude call her? The dude who be doing the reviews Judge on Judge Cancer? Scandals? Yes. He said, <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Funky Dineva. Shout out. He said, <laughs> 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 he Judge Cancer. No, but Fitz obviously been in, getting into some real this, slap stuff. Yeah, and I think that's what we're going to be learning on this season. We're going to get I, I a hope, real. I, I don't hope this. Like, I don't. If this is real life, I wouldn't hope it, but it would be wonderful if he killed Millie. Because they at war right now. You saw them? They were nose to nose. He was like, this ain't no No, no, they was like. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, real talk though. I would kill Millie. I mean, I feel sorry for her. I would have offed her the minute she went to that dad going mother effing reporter. Yeah. The the minute I saw her sitting on that couch. Because she went to James. Now, let's also talk about this. How James got drugged. (laughs) Okay. He's weak though, because how you gonna let somebody drug you? You got a baby up in Exactly, you got a baby. Come what on. you doing? But James Cyrus needs to do better. James he definitely, definitely got needs to do better. Cyrus needs to get with the dude holding the gun, okay? I don't think he goes that way. He might not be gay, but he needs a dude like that, because that's the type of dude Cyrus is. You feel yeah. me? He got this weak little pansy eyeglass wearing reporter. <laughs> Cyrus, James. I just want a baby. Look Give at me a baby, Cyrus. Mm. That's all I want. Then Cyrus don't want that. He don't really want that. He, he want that dude holding the gun. Charlie, is that his name? I think so. Charlie. And I believe that. I believe that when Cyrus saw it, because you saw him when he stopped him, he went. It wasn't out of fear. He was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs>